Are you planning on buying a home in the Temecula, Murrieta area? You need to watch this video. I'm going to go through one of the most important videos I do monthly, and that is specific statistics on how many homes are listing and going over list price, how many homes are being listed and going under list price, and how many homes are just selling straight at list price. Why is this important for you to know? Well, as I track this data monthly, you're gonna get a very good idea from statistics coming straight from the MLS of are there are most of the homes right now in the Temecula Murrieta area going under list? Do I have to come in and bid $20,000 over on every single home that I see? So not only am I gonna give you the statistics of what's going on, but I'm also gonna go through and show you specific examples of homes that are doing that 20 or $30,000 over list price, give you examples of, and, and, and tell you why, in my opinion, I think that is happening. And then I'm also gonna do it with a few of the homes that are being listed and selling under list price and give you my thoughts on why these homes are going under. So when you are showing or looking at homes, you're gonna be able to take the data from these videos and go into a home when you're looking at it and think to myself, hey, well, on the last video that I saw, you know, a home without a pool that doesn't have this or doesn't have that, I really strongly think that I'm not gonna have to spend an extra $20,000 over list to get my offer accepted. And the same thing uh, going over list price. So hopefully this video helps. Check out our uh, reviews on Google. We have over 55 five-star reviews, Greenleaf Real Estate and Appraisal. And if you have any further questions about the area, we've got tons of videos, not only on this channel, I also have a lot, a lot of blog posts on exploring Temecula, so check those out. But let's get into the video. Okay, everybody, so I just wanted to show you what I'm actually doing here in regards to getting this data. Uh, I did everything closed in between today and 20 days ago in Temecula and Murrieta, single family residence, under 950,000. If you're wondering, there were only like three or four homes under the 950, or sorry, over the $950,000 that have sold. So, um, and that's, most people are not going to be buying those types of homes and it's a different animal in so many ways. So I just didn't want to put those in. Uh, as you can see down here, there are 94 homes that have sold in the last 20 days. And I just wanted to give you uh, on the results here, what I wanted to show you, the list price and sold price. Uh, I, sh I mentioned this in my last video, uh, the market update for August, and the s average sales price in Temecula dropped substantially in the month of August. And I was just wondering what the hell is going on? Why is this Why is this happening? Well, I went in and did the data on this. And as you can see, now Murrieta is involved in this, but out of the 94 homes that have sold, let's call it 65 of them, are selling under 769,000. So the majority of homes right now, because of affordability, because of your monthly payments, it seems like the homes under that 750 range in both cities, that's what people are buying, that's what people can afford. So you can expect in this price range, there is going to be a lot of competition. Guys, so now into the data and out of all these homes, 41 of these homes sold above list price, of an average of 18,154. Out of these 94 homes, 35 of them sold under list price and the average was 20,000 under list. So, I mean, that's a huge discrepancy, guys. It's like almost, well, and to put into perspective, there's 15, 14 homes that sold um, at right at list price. So the majority of the homes in Temecula and Murrieta are either selling above list price or below list price, but you've got a range of literally $40,000 of the above list price down on average to the below list price. Okay, so this first home that I wanted to show you, this is on Turquoise Lane in Murrieta. It was listed at 850, sold for 875, went $25,000 over list price. Uh, just right off the bat, what I see, first of all, it is a larger home. It is a newer home, 2019. And it, I'm gonna go through the pictures here. 
and I'm just going to show you some of the things that I can tell you for a fact just working with buyers over the last three or four years what they will deem as important first of all of course it's new very it it's very clean and it's going to be modern inside first thing i wanted to show you was it does have a pool it does have the fake grass uh turf whatever you want to call it um, so that is what a lot of buyers are looking for and also willing to overpay for and the lot size is actually decent as well for a newer home to have almost a 7,000 square foot lot that's pretty big so you got three things already going for it lot size pool and the square footage and four actually and it's new and as you can see up top here after I think it was 2019 or 20 I can't remember the exact year you had to put solar on it so this home also has solar which is another benefit and it's um, another feature that is going to entice people is this California room outdoor living uh, and that was probably an add-on or an option for the homeowner when they were building this home so these are just some of the pictures and as you can see if any buyer walks in this home with how modern it looks how well it is laid out the furniture the uh, flooring it's going to I love this type of flooring because oftentimes uh, I hate dark homes and I can tell you right now with this type of flooring it's probably very light and bright in this home even more than the pictures but as you can see this is turnkey nobody has to do any work pool solar good size it's not on a busy street okay that's another thing that you're always going to or you should look at uh, a busy street is going to be a big hit in regards to sellability and you do not want a lot of traffic going through your home so this is just an example for you guys to see of what type of home is going to go over that twenty to thirty thousand dollars so next now i wanted to show you a home that went close to thirty five thousand dollars under market uh, and i'm going to give some additional facts in here what uh, I, i'm just thinking of what maybe buyers are thinking first of all it's in Summers Bend, which is a new community. That is a plus, don't get me wrong. But the issue with a lot of people with Summers Bend is the taxes are much, much higher and the HOA is like 250 or $300 a month. So you're already going to, as a, as a seller, have that hurdle to get over with incoming buyers. They're gonna come in, yes, they like Summers Bend, they're going to look at the tax rate a lot of them are going to be like ah you know that's just too much i don't want to spend forty five hundred dollars uh, a year in special assessments in melarus and then there's also going to be a lot of people that shy away from the hoa even though the amenities are very nice they're thinking hey i'm going to take that eight or ten thousand dollars buy another home maybe an older home uh, and have a lower tax rate and uh, just live within my means a little more so uh, right off the bat i can tell you that this for many people even though this is a beautiful area and probably one of the nicest in temecula why this might be a little bit harder in certain circumstances to sell next you look there we go new home lot size 4100 square foot lot size a lot of people do not like the idea of having such a small lot uh, and again even though it does look nice inside in my opinion and this is not for everybody just as a general rule for sale I think more people are going to like the more modern look that's just my opinion that's what I've seen from a lot of people so the white cabinets white countertops the grays the light the bright so Although this might be very nice, it might look very nice, if you had 10 buyers through that this home, three of them would love the cabinets and the dark granite, seven of them would say, I want a nicer, a lighter, brighter kitchen. Really just a simple point, but again, little things in real estate really do matter. I, I think with a smaller home right here, 2,100 square feet, you really want to make it look bigger and uh, through these pictures it the pictures just make it look really small they should have shot 
more of a wider angle in my opinion on these pictures and just made the kitchen the bathrooms the backyard look a little bigger than what it was to get people through this house because again once you get into the development once you see the homes it is very nice but there were probably a handful of buyers that didn't like how the pictures looked how small it looked how cramped it looked uh, and again this is you know you already have a small backyard of 4100 um, and it is a back picture like this uh, you don't not really getting trying to get a grand view uh, of the backyard so that is an example of why in my opinion and this was a little more unique in way of the price drop you wouldn't know as a buyer why a certain community like Summers Bend might have some pushback from buyers uh, but those are some of the reasons and uh, if you are looking for a local real estate agent that can give you tons of information uh, on the tax rates of each individual neighborhood, uh, make sure you reach out. Uh, I can do HOAs. I can give you my feeling on you know, what neighborhoods are truly wanted by people. Uh, these are all going to be important things, not only on the value of your home going up, but in the end, uh, if you're ever looking to sell, you want it to be sellable too. So uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, thank you very much. And until next time from Exploring Temecula.